Our first guest tonight is an Emmy Award-winning comedian who you know from his 18 seasons on Saturday Night Live and his fantastic series, Kenan. Please welcome back to the show one of the all-time best, Kenan Thompson, everybody. This. In the studio. In the studio. In the studio. Have you ever... Have you oh, I ever it was be a while since been I saw a lot of these guys. in front of this many people at once? This is incredible. Isn't it? Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> I love Take it. Take a seat. So Which you are. Is it? Are we still you can, no, you can do this it? now. We're doing this now. Oh, this gangster. Not bad, right? What's happening Look around here. It's like a regular TV We got the show. whole studio. Now, uh, you're filling in for us. Thank you so much. Our friend My Luke pleasure. Wilson, um, uh, had to uh, cancel the last minute and you scrambled over here. Now, I will say. There was one person who was a little upset that you're here. Oh, who's that? Wally, who you know well from SNL. Wally was our last time hey, fill-in guest. What's up, Wally? He Walu? just assumed. <laughs> hey, buddy. He just assumed this would be an all-time thing anytime. Oh man, I'm, I'm sorry. Did I crash your parade <laughs> a little bit? If anybody was gonna replace me, I'd rather be you. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. 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 And again, I need to stress, you don't have a say in it. <laughs> oh, I was just about to say it. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's really got the power here, by the way? Well, Wally, of <laughs> course, does. Uh, Wally does have the power, of course. You and I both learned how to do cue cards from Wally. I learned everything I know about cue cards from Wally. What Absolutely. did you guys do on your early sketch days on all that? Were you? Uh... We memorized. Really? Absolutely. We were kids who were under the uh, the uh, heavy pressure and foot of <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the Nickelodeon legacy. No, I mean, it's just like they gave us. I liked that the first day at Nickelodeon, they were like, you will learn your lines. Yes, and you will learn yes. French, and you will speak it. <laughs> and they literally had me trying to learn French. To, to do that character. And I was that's like, escargot? Yeah, yeah, that's escargot. And right. I was like, nah, I'm going to make this up. Did you, Wally, could you tell right away that Keenan was a pro? Oh, yeah. There yeah, was, yeah. He, he, had, he had picked it up right away. I'm but... sorry, I, I couldn't hear. What was that? <laughs> well, it's hard because uh, Wally's speaking through two. Do you know why Wally has a sponge on his mask? Yeah, because he likes to lick his disgusting fingers. <laughs> so he can turn the cards. I get it, man. When I'm counting bread, so it's such a burn. when I'm counting money, you know what I'm saying? I do the same thing. <laughs> the burn on Wally is we don't have to wear the masks anymore, but he can't figure out how to get a sponge on the paper mask. So he's still wearing the plastic mask because of his uh, finger problem. Well, well, it doesn't stick. Isn't it just sticking to the plastic? It, it's glued there. It's yeah, it's glued, glued there. there. Yeah. yeah. So then if you glue it, You'll be inhaling glue for it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the weird thing Friday is he says he Wally. has to lick his fingers to do the cards, but I've watched he licks them, then he dries them off, then he does the cards. <laughs> oh, man. It's just a it's What's just What's going a on there, bud? <laughs> Let's just focus in on this for a while. <laughs> now, Wally, did you, uh... we, when Wally was here, we talked about uh, the time that uh, Charles Barkley pulled the prank where he pretended at rehearsal to get mad. Yes. And Wally, do you remember that? I do remember that. Also, like, one of the nicest human beings in the world. One so. of my favorite things... Because, and this obviously happened more for you at SNL uh, than me, because you did so many impressions. Sometimes people would host the show that you had done an impression of. And I remember right. at the Monday pitch when Barkley hosted, you walked, and like, as, as everybody was walking in, he was like, where's Keenan? <laughs> Come on, sucker, do it to my face. <laughs> All right. Uh, hello, Mr. Barkley. Good to see you, sir. Yeah, next time I'm going to give you one of these knuckle sandwiches. Yeah. All right. Yeah, sure. I'll take it, but uh, yeah, no, he's he's great, and I remember him like trying to get everybody like very enthusiastically <laughs> to go along with this small prank that he wanted to do. He just with wanted Wally, to yell at Wally. Like, he just wanted yeah, to yell. Yeah, really, I think it'll be really funny if we <laughs> got mad at Wally and then yell at him. And like, okay, cool, like let's just do it. And you know, we improv for forever sometimes, especially Fred. But he'll just go for a day and a half with a yeah. joke. But Barkley broke it after two seconds. He's like, Wally, what the hell are you doing? I'm just playing. Man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> That would be my friend. It speaks, it speaks to what a good guy he is. Yeah, he's a sweet dude. Um, you and I obviously been friends for a long time. I was very happy about the fact that you were at my wedding. I was happier yes. about the fact that you rented a car. Oh, God, let me show you this picture. This was uh, <laughs> very unique to uh, the location. Uh, I did Absolutely. Not, I did not realize it was even available to rent. Yeah, you, okay, so, you know, you did, not a lot of people have destination weddings, number one, but yeah. let alone go to a wonderful you know, isolated place like Martha's Vineyard. Yeah. You know, it's a beautiful place. I'd never been there in my life. 
And, uh, you know, I guess it's not known for lots of black people being there. Mm -hmm. There is a certain sect of them that go yeah, there. Yeah, it's actually, I would say, of a, a New England vacation it's destination, it's like most known for it. Yeah, yeah but um, at the time on the island, I think I was the only one. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, the only rental car that they had left that was, like, semi-cool was a bright yellow convertible Camaro. <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, I was just driving around with me and my wife, and she took this picture of us there with me go. wearing this bright wrist. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for some reason, my eyes are half closed, but I'm just having a grand old time. <laughs> just dry. And people were shouting out my name and stuff like that. I thought I was much more low key than that, but I guess I was sticking I, out like a sore thumb. I, um, I feel I, I, I'm worried we've told. Um this story on the show before, but I uh, had the pleasure once of driving with you. We did a stand-up show together at University of Rhode Island. Yeah. I said, Keenan, it's the best. We'll take Amtrak. We get there. Amtrak's closed. They're like, that train they, is canceled. They canceled the train. Yeah. And so we went to get a rental car. And at the time, I did not have a driver's license and you did not have a credit card. Right. And they Just were very insistent that we couldn't the combine the two to rent a car. Yeah. Meanwhile, clock is ticking. On the very, it's approaching. Yes, yeah, very. Uh, and because it's an hour and a half. Yeah. It was a, it, no, so it was a longer drive than that. And we, it was, uh, I think it was like a three and a half hour so drive. So it's already after five shows starting at like 730-ish. Yeah, we were going to have to uh, like hustle. Yeah. And then you... I said, uh, can we talk to a manager? Which yes. I've never done before, and I will say it's very and, empowering. And may I speak to the manager, <laughs> please? Yes. <laughs> and the manager came out, and do you remember uh, what she said when she saw you? Yeah, she asked, it took a minute. She was like, okay, what's going on here? And it was like, well, ma'am, I think you were talking to her. It's like, well, we're trying to rent a car, but I don't have a driver's license, and my friend doesn't have a credit card. And then she looked over and saw me. Hey, baby, oh, y'all good. Go on and take it. <laughs> Take these keys. I think she gave us a very nice car immediately. And I we couldn't were believe on it. It was road. nothing. There was like nothing. It's like, I can't do this. I can't. And she I was saw like, you. I was her son, basically. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, baby, go on to the prom. Take, take this car and have a good time. This your date? Y'all yeah, have fun. I don't judge. <laughs> you, and then you drove. Uh, by the way, I think it was, we were three and a half hours away and we had to make it there in two and a half hours. And you drove so fast, we still had like an hour to spare. <laughs> Yeah, and I just remember a moment where I was like, oh, I'm doing the most for Seth right now because it was a two-lane highway and then there was two cars and I ended up going in between the middle of them <laughs> and just watching Seth do like this <laughs> yeah, was just, mm, if yeah. I could have filmed it. Oh, that was, that was a beautiful moment. Uh, but we but, did make it, yeah, we made uh, it and that was a good time. Before uh, you go, and thank you again for coming over here and, and bailing us out. Uh, right. My uh, pleasure. Keenan, Look, I want to run through the audience. <laughs> uh, Keenan, uh, your sitcom got picked up for a second season. You're going to start shooting that. It uh, sure congratulations, did. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you very uh, much. I am, I am on, in awe of the fact that you both uh, did SNL this year. You also did the first season of a wonderful sitcom. Yeah, and man, uh, uh, and also the uh, father to two beautiful girls. So uh, it must have been a real balancing act, but you just pulled it off with a plum. Thank you, man. Thank you. It was a real hustle, you know, and... Luckily, I'm going from, you know, one loving environment to the other, you know, like I've been here for 18 years of my life now at this point and then going over to our new built family over there with the great Don Johnson and Chris Red, you know what I mean? Like just my brother in, in tow, like, you know, as tired as I was, I knew Chris was going through the same thing at least, you know what I'm saying? So I never felt alone. But also, I was just going from one big hug to the other. So it was a, a real pleasure. Well, it paid off, buddy. And it is always a pleasure to see you. That's Keenan Thompson, everybody. That's we'll be I right back to say about that. with Juno Temple. <laughs> <laughs>